So now let's work on making an image for the second band of our eventual composite. And so we're going to make and display an image for band two. And what I'd want to do here is to figure out how much of this I could actually reuse. So I'm going to go ahead and copy what we did for B1 and then paste it in here and then just update it. So I'm going to say B2, 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 B2. Is that fair? So I'm just basically saying, all right, I want to change the year that we're going to use in our calendar range by telling it to call to to go grab this value sorry for uh for b2 so it's going to say 2003 2003 it's going to still grab the year unit and then it's going to label it 2003. i also want to just make sure that there isn't anything funny going around going um on with year 2003 compared to 2013. so I'm just going to block out these two and kind of step it, um, step through this um, one line at a time. Is that fair? So I just kind of clicked and dragged to highlight it all that and then command um, that f uh, forward, um, the, the slash that's kind of walking up the hill rather than walking down the hill and then command that. If you're on a Mac, it's con I think it's going to be, um, uh, what is it, control slash on a Windows, but you, oh, you you guys would know all that by now. So anyway, I've commented that out and I'm going to hit run. It's going to get mad about this thing. So let me comment out the map add layer too and click run and then see what we're getting. So we have an image collection. That's great. And uh, cause uh, let's see what's in it. Uh, whew, we have two features here. And so let's try to understand why that is. So bring over as much real estate as I can. I've got this one feature that if I look at it is from 2003. And then I've got this other feature from 2003. It's this F thing that's different. And so I stuck this image in there from um, one of the readings I had for the additive color lecture that shows you that in 2003, which is somewhere in here, we're basically getting, we've got two different platforms that are uh, collecting data 15 and 14. Is that fair? So we basically have two, two images for this year um, because there are two different sensors that were um, collecting data this year. So um, if we use first, we're just going to grab the data from the first one and ignore the data from the second one. And I don't know if that's the best choice. Um, so what if we wanted to kind of split the difference and basically combine the two? what we could do is instead of saying first, we could say mean, and that's going to say, just take the average of the two. If there's more than one, take the average and, and let's move on. So if I hit run now, it should run through this. And now we have an image and the image is going to have um, stable lights, um, but it's going to be the average of these um, two inputs. Is that fair? And so then I'm going to say, all right, let's rename and we're going to rename it that. And that should give me um, this where it is now renamed 2003 in the band list. Is that fair? So what the rename is doing is it's renaming the band um, uh, that is stored in the image. So the band here, I think is still called B2, um, but the image is, uh, but the, so sorry, the image is called B2, but the band is uh, called uh, 2003. Okay, so then if I go to here and say, let's display it, I'm going to say, let's display B2. And uh, I just called this viz, right? So I can call that again. And then I need, need to do this little bit of like string and then years um, B2. And that's going to make a label out of this number. And then I'm going to just say false so that it doesn't display automatically. I'm going to hit save and hit run. And this should now be, okay, there's 2003, there's 2013, and they should look a little different, right? You should see that 2003 is uh, earlier, right? It's also should notice a couple of things. One, 
2003 is earlier than 2013. So when you look at the changes, it makes sense that when you take the top layer off, you see the growth underneath it. Um, the other thing that you should see is that the order that things get displayed in the layer list is kind of, um, uh, some people think it's kind of opposite. We added this layer first, and then we added this layer second. So by adding it second, we're adding it on top of the first one. Does that make sense? So that's B2 and that's B1. Anyway, that's uh, helpful to kind of keep in mind. But this looks pretty good. The main thing that we found here is that our um, sometimes what, we, uh, but I'll, I'll talk about maybe the, the repercussions of this in the next video. So I'm gonna stop.